Oh, I'm back. I actually am going to be able to get to do a, a maybe two more videos before I get to class. I was actually able to get my philosophy stuff done a little earlier. I still I, I didn't do the homework. I just watched the lecture and did the quiz, but it's only a five question homework. So it would be easier to get through. I decided I'll do it a little later. Get some videos done while I'm, I have this nice whiteboard because I like it. I like having this whiteboard. I don't know why. It's fun. So this clip is going to be on uh, Alec and Jane's gifts. I think that's what the clip is called. Only like 20 seconds. Along, uh, first of this this isn't a scene in the book. Um, they're once again like with the previous scene I discussed. It's just something they're showing. I think the main reason they're doing it is part one is to show Alex's power is. Um, so it's that weird. He uh, <laughs> he does this thing. He cuts off all the emotions, feelings, everything in the person that they're going after. Because the way it's visually represented in the film and in this Alex in this clip is it's this black like smoke mist kind of thing um, so that effect that effect is very interesting it does kind of look like something you might see in like a comic book really uh, it looks cool though I'm glad I'm actually glad you get to see Alex give so that, that's awesome um, the way it is described in the book is it does sound like it's this kind of black mist going around everything so they obviously just followed the description. They didn't try to change it or anything. Um, so that's good. Uh, the effects also look nice. So that's great. And I'm going the vampire effects. So the speed of the vampires looks very clean, very sharp in this scene as well. Uh, Bella in this particular scene is narrating. She's pretty much telling the audience what Alex probably does in a sense and you know that they're gonna have to face these guys. Uh, I could have done we didn't have that for the previous scene with the whole story finding out about the colonies. I, I would have liked without the narration but I guess I have to see how the scene fits into the context of the rest of the film. Uh, but hopefully maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know. Uh, I'm okay with Oh, alright, I'm sorry. I thought I accidentally stopped. My bad. I thought I accidentally pushed the stop button. I was like, oh no. <sighs> Maybe I'll change my mind when I see it. Uh, I'm okay with uh, Bella narrating in the beginning of the film. And I'll, I think she's gonna narrate. In the end of this one, I don't know. Um, really quickly, the last but not least is the costumes. I mentioned in the still one in the still video. This was one of the stills that's been an out. Um, I really like their costumes. I still do. It's great. I'm not a little deep purple that Alice, I mean, Jane, excuse me, not Alice. Jane is wearing. Uh, it's very fitting for the Volturi to have that color, but that would have been a great color for them to wear. The three, right? Arrow, Marcus, and Caius. Why weren't they wearing a nice purple or purple tones? Instead of just all black. I'm just saying. Change it up. That's very typical for bad guys who are black. I mean, Darth Vader was all black, right? Oh, I would show you my backpack, but I don't want to get it. Try and move it around. Here I go. My video just went on. Uh, that's it. Uh, so I'll get the next one going. Bye.